Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going over secrets on how to look instantly thinner. So the goal of this video is to help you when you're not feeling 100% yourself, whether that's because maybe it's that time of the month or like today is the day after Christmas and I had a lot of sweets and drank a lot of wine yesterday. I am definitely not feeling 100% myself. This isn't meant to replace a doctor or to encourage you to lose weight. That is not the goal of this at all. I really want to make that clear. This is just for days where, you know, maybe you're feeling bloated or you're just not feeling like your best self. So these are just a few secrets to help you look a little thinner and help your day be the best it can be. But first, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Hello, my name is Jules. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe. So click the red box down below, it's over here, and the bell notification next to it so that you get notified when I post new videos and I do two new videos every week. So the core secret that if you take away one thing from this video, and trust me, you're gonna wanna watch the whole thing, but if you take away one thing from this video, it's this. We are going to try to manipulate everyone else's eye and our own. So the eye is naturally drawn to angles and curves and really anything of interest. So we are going to give our eye and everyone else's eye something else to look at other than the area that we're feeling insecure about. So for this first secret, we are actually going to be counterintuitive. We are going to make ourselves bigger. Now, why would that make you look thinner? Why would that make me look thinner? Well, the more space you take up, the more angles you are creating. Whether you're putting your hands on your hips or standing with your legs apart, leaning against a chair, against a bookcase, putting your elbows on the table, that's right kids, put those elbows on that table and you will instantly feel like you're taking up more space. And that is a good thing because what you're creating is empty spaces between your body and your appendages. But by creating these different angles, you are in fact going to be drawing the eye away from the angles you don't want other people to see. Now, even just standing here, if I have my arms right by my sides, you see just sort of a blob, right? You can see my black shirt that I'm wearing. You're also seeing my arms next to my side. Now, if I create some space in between my arms right here, suddenly I have a little bit more of a waist. And that is ultimately what we're trying to achieve. I haven't sucked in my stomach at all. I haven't done anything and yet here we are. No waste, waste. No waste, waste. Chicken dance. But that is ultimately what we're trying to do. Again, it's creating angles and interest for your eye. And so also make sure you are standing with your legs apart. That is creating, again, more interest, more empty space around your body so you're taking up more room. However, you are making your two legs look thinner than one leg put together if you were to put both legs together. When you're standing with your legs apart, stick out your booty just a little bit. That will engage your abs, which is always a good thing when you're trying to feel thinner. And then what that does is it creates a little bit of a thigh gap, kind of a fake one, but most of us don't have thigh gaps, so hello world. And so now you're creating a lot of of angles that just add so much interest to the eye and you will instantly feel thinner and everyone else will think you'll look thinner too. So I know it's counterintuitive but make yourself bigger and your waist will start to look smaller. And a little bonus tip for you, when your body takes up more space, you feel more confident and powerful. And ultimately that is the goal of this video. We don't want to just instantly look thinner for the sake of looking thinner. We want to feel thinner because we want to be more confident. Confidence. And so if you're taking up more space, you're taking up that power pose, you will in turn also start to feel much more confident. All right, next we are going to embrace the curves we want to show off. Now as women, we generally have about two curves that we are kind of trying to show off. So whether you're choosing to wear a necklace that might highlight your chest or to wear a belt, those are two great options for showing off either of those curves without actually showing more skin or wearing tighter clothes. And so another great way to do this is by tucking in your shirt. And so when you tuck in your shirt, it gives you one, the option to wear a belt. And then also by tucking in your shirt, you're accentuating your waist without adding bulk to your waist. It's a really easy way to just kind of show off the waist. Plus it is super fashionable to tuck in your shirt. So it's a win-win. But what this also means is that you should never, ever, 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 ever wear a big 
bulky sweatshirt when you are trying to feel thinner. I know that's what we all wanna do. We just wanna cozy up, we wanna get in some sweatpants, we wanna get in that big oversized sweatshirt and just veg, but I promise you that's gonna do nothing for your confidence and you're not gonna feel thinner the next day. And the thing is with a sweatshirt, even if you put your hands on your hips, stand with your legs apart, you still are not getting those angles and interest that the eye needs in order to look thinner. So get rid of those sweatshirts. They are not gonna do anything to make you look thinner. And with that, also stop wearing low rise pants. Ladies, they are not doing anything for our muffin tops. What we need, what everyone needs, is a pair of pants that sit right below the belly button because it will hold all your stuff in. But what you're actually doing is causing your jeans or your pants to cut you off right where the muffin top is and that is not a flattering look on anyone. But I prefer just below the belly button because it keeps everything that I'm most insecure about sucked into place. Now you can use shapewear if you need to do that but I do have a pair of jeans that I swear by and I will link them down below. They are from Wit and Wisdom and they do have slimming panels right in that section where you are trying to hide things. And I love it for days where I'm just not quite feeling 100%, but I wanna feel my best. Check out those links below in the description box. So the next thing I want you to think about is your collarbone. Now this is a section of the body that often gets ignored because we're so worried about our faces and our hair and the rest of it all that the collarbone gets ignored. And the collarbone is actually very important. There are two ways you can feel thinner by just thinking about your collarbone. The first way is to just stick it out. And what that does is it works on one of your other curves and it also engages your abs and sucks in your waist a little bit. Your shoulders will immediately go back and everything else will look instantly better. Next, what I want you to do is to contour and highlight your collarbone. Now you don't need a lot, you don't want people to know you've contoured and highlighted your collarbone, but just a little bit of bronzer on the outside and a little bit of highlight on the top will help it stick out just a little bit extra. I think one of the looks of skinnier, thinner people is that they have really prominent collarbones. And so you can also mimic one by sticking yours out and shading it. Don't let your shoulders come forward. That will hurt and it will give you really bad posture and nothing else will look right. You want to literally just stick them out. Everything else will fall into place and add a little bit of coloring to make it look a little thinner. So on a similar beauty note, we're gonna think about your hair. Adding interest to your hair is just as important because it draws the eye up and away from anything that you might not be feeling super confident with. Now you can curl it however you want or style it however you want. The key is to add interest to your hair and the easiest way that I found is by curling it. It also adds curves to your head, hair, and shoulders so that everything is just cohesive as you're trying to create curves and angles down your entire body. If your hair is just straight up and down, the eye doesn't really notice it and it's gonna start looking for other areas of interest and other curves and angles. So my final two secrets for you are about fashion and I'm not gonna go over the obvious ones like wear darker colors, wear black. I think we all know those ones. And you're here for something you haven't learned before. And this first one might not come as a surprise, but just do it. Just wear a pair of high heels. Now I definitely recommend a skinnier heel because the leg will look longer and leaner and you really need to wear a pointed toe heel. What that does is it elongates the leg even more than just the heel and it will create extra interest for the eye to look at with the pointed toe and the skinny heel. And then my last secret is to wear a black blazer. There's two things about black blazers that are perfect for these kind of days. One, they are black and so they will instantly be the most slimming color and they are naturally tailored to accentuate the right curves and bring you in at the waist. And so you can't go wrong picking a black blazer to wear on days where you want to look thinner. 
So thank you so much for watching this video on my secrets to how to look thinner. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. I want to add a disclaimer again because I feel like I might get some hate comments that having a healthy body image is a really important thing. No matter how much you weigh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what size you are. All that matters is that you're healthy. And everyone's body, no matter what stage it's in, is beautiful and precious. And so these tips are meant to help you feel more confident on days when you want to feel a little thinner. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you back. So that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Jules and make sure to stick around to watch that next video. Bye!